with a mid Magnus to zone out the Ember Spirit. And no, 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 they're going to have to... This is a tough one. Honestly, this is a Prepare tough one. And by the way, I want to bring up a mechanic that not many people would encounter, but it's very important. When Shadow Demon disrupts an ally, what you cannot you use Solar Guardian on top of him as a Dawnbreaker. Because oh. you can't... Yeah, you can't... I, I, I tried this once. One guy was, like, uh, disrupted by the enemy, and he's like, why didn't you help me? I was like, I can't click on you to actually use my ultimate. That's, uh, that's very interesting. I didn't realize that was the interaction. I suppose, technically, you're, you're not on the map, are you? Yes. So you yeah, there's nothing to target. Yeah, okay, that makes sense when you think about it that way. But it's still very, uh, very, very interesting interaction there. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those things where I also I I got flamed for it. I'm like, dude, I can't do anything. But it's a, it's you can't. I don't. I imagine you can't also do it with like astral or if you're too inside a tombstone, things like that, right? Because you're again off map as you mentioned. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. But it looks like uh, Nana Nana here attempted to go for some sort of first spot play the Radiant Jungle, but an Observer War did see them all coming, so Winter Bears have all the information in the world just to dodge this gank and secure the top two bounties themselves. So it's looking like it's just going to be a 2 2 split to start off the game here. Uh, they even sell the, send the Sator to scout out. Burns a bit of mine. Not bad, actually. Dawnbreaker, while you know very awesome in every the way, does begins. have a bit of mana issues. It's true. Oh. Oh, bounties, two for two. No one coming out ahead. Oh, decent yeah. start. I still, decent start. I still the like the whole wisdom. innate or the um, facet mm. thing with, with Shen where you get to pick which yeah. creep you want at the start of the game. Because it really can mm. like completely dictate on how you're going to play the hero, what your mm. main objectives are. and It's really cool. Adds another little layer to the hero itself. I like the law as well. You know, that you're able to like... So you don't have to wait for that first minute to get a good creep, things like that. You can just be like, ah, I'm starting with this one. As yeah. Uh, yeah, mid lane pastel yeah. versus Jesus. Uh, Already oh, a skewer into the tower. Jesus takes some serious damage here. He might just go down. Yeah, I think oh, he's he able is. To dodge it there with a the slight. So he does keep himself alive, but solid damage already done here from pastel. Really good start for Winter Bears in the mid. Damn, and look at that. He's gonna have to use all his region just to stay back in the lane. I. I knew that Pasta was going to do well in this mid, but I thought it was going to be like through in power, not like that. Holy moly. Yeah. Uh, oh, Ca keyboard? Okay. Catchall calls the pause of the Keep keyboard, I don't know. Well. Maybe mm -hmm. Mr. CS and punched it. Keys uh -huh. falling out, perhaps. You know, these things uh -huh. happen, guys. Yeah, it's uh, big problems. Dude, don't uh, let's think... an emotional game. <laughs> uh, let's look at the bottom line. Alright, Shadow Fiend yes. and Chen versus Dawnbreaker and true. Shadow Demon. So. In general, this is going to be pretty damn hard for the radi for the dire side. Chen is, you know, always like a secures the lane. Shafi does a lot of damage. Dawnbreakers and Shadima are good, but it doesn't feel like they're good against these two in particular. Mm. I was wondering if you could probably have made an argument to actually swap the Tusk and Chen around. Like Tusk oh. SF in itself is yes. a really strong combination. You can, there's a lot of kill threat there, and then. You'd have a Chen with a Pangolier, which too can apply a lot of pressure and potentially find kills of their own. Mm. And like, I, and Jen, I don't know. Obviously, you'd be having Chen 4 and Tusk 5 instead, but I don't mm. know. I feel like lane-wise, it would have really worked out. I think you're completely right. It, but to be fair, it can go either way. Uh, there's not like, I don't really have much of a preference, but yeah, Tusk Shadow Fiend is really, really good, as you're saying. As uh, Let's look at the top lane, see what we're, what we're working with here. Hey, thank you. So bottom lane, this one is a bit risky because once they once the rolls come in, the snowball, Luna and Grimstroke just get demolished. So honestly, all three lanes are going to be open. Oh, first blood found mid there, Pastel able to get the solo onto Jesus. That is devastated. Already got skewed and stout early on for a bit of emotional damage, and then a solo kill for extra damage. This is uh, this is a worrying start here for the side of Nana. Nah. Hey, Blue, Blue Scale, you want a you want a dad joke? Are you ready? Are you ready? Go on, lay it on me. He nailed him. I don't get it. This is Jesus and oh, ah! <laughs> I get it. That's good. That's good. I mean, uh, I, I, I had uh, to think, but you had to spell it out for me. But I like yeah. that. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, I know. It doesn't feel good. No, you make me feel bad now. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure there's only some people out there that'd be upset with you. Not me at all. Uh, I, I no. appreciate a good bad joke. <laughs> oh, well. Top lane is the best lane going for the dire side, but I do assume that once 
Tusk is like level 3, it will go a little bit better for him to be I say it's the best, but still even. You know, it's not like they're leading here, it's just an even lane. The problem is they're being demolished on the other two sides. Yeah. That makes no sense. Oh. Down one of those, a bit of action right now. Both the uh, Dawnbreaker and Chen die at the same time. And it looks like Malfurion is going to try and get a plus one here on towards Michael, but I just don't think he's fast enough. Shadow Demon should be able to walk himself away. In fact, SF is kind of wasting time trying to go for it. He is. Kill. Yeah, and, uh, definitely. I don't think he loses a whole lot of CS because all, like, all the creeps were all, all dead anyway, pushing to the enemy side. But Michael. Trades a bit of health, eh, it's fine. I don't know if that's actually that bad for Nanana. Yes, you lose your oh, 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 that's a big one there. Uh. Asan attempting to go for a kill ends up getting killed himself. Just, uh, I, I suppose that's the thing. Like, sure, they can roll onto him and do a lot of damage to either the Luna or the Grim, but at the same time, mm -hmm. these two can 100% stand their ground. Yeah, they got yep. built in stun with the ink swell, a ton of damage as well. It's really worrying. Uh, to be honest, it was a bit. Wishful to do that when you don't have snowball. He was only level two, so he only had the shard and the tag team. And so that once the inst once the ink swell comes out, there's nothing you can do. You can't counter it with a snowball because you don't have it. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Mid lane though continues to be an absolutely tough one for Jesus. I don't think he's rising from this one. No, I don't think so. He's he's staying in that little cave. I feel as he's yeah ran out. Oh, he's able to dodge oh, the skew in there, but the disruption actually lands on towards the tusk instead. Asan. Wants to try and land these shards, hits guaranteed the kill on towards the uh, Ember, does bring him down. TP coming in as well from the Grim. Oh, okay. But he's a little bit late, showed up to the party here. Everybody's done. They're just going to walk away. I I feel like for Nanana, this mid lane is the biggest problem. They feel like they have to do something to solve it. When a lot of times you can be like, yo, you just sack the guy. You know, like you're in a, a, an unwinnable matchup and just give it to them. And try to focus on the other lanes. Because they are doing okay in the other lanes. Look at Luna. She's the, the same as the SF. That's a huge thing for you. That's true. Well, but mm. then at the same time, the Dawn is lagging behind everybody else as well. 12 and 2, especially mm. when you compare it to Catchel's 31 and 4. But oh, it looks like up top, got rotation for the Chen as yeah. the Luna will die. But mid at the same time, Jesus is also going to die. Y you know earlier mm. where mm. I said that, it, you know, it might not be as one-sided as you would no. think, Kimotoma. Mm. It, it, yeah. it, 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 you know, I was trying to put a, a few doses of copium in there. Mm. I, it's, it's starting to taste sour. Yeah, I told I told you like you were trying to eject it, but it wasn't the good stuff. I was like, dude, it's not it's not happening. Not in a game like this, as they have three thousand gold ahead on to wear bears. In the first five minutes. Uh, wow, Jesus tips pastel. Honestly, yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe it's like yeah, you're playing playing well. I guess uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously, these players have probably interacted a few times in their pubs and stuff as well. So maybe there's a little bit of uh, personal I... background there. Who knows? Possibly. I don't think. But they are playing like from. They're in different yes. areas, maybe. And like, okay, the MMR <laughs> difference between them is big. So you're not as likely to encounter these players. You know what I mean? True. 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 Uh, all right. He's back. I, I still would have imagined that you just chat. You just, you know. Sack the ember, be like, yo, dude, get six and rotate. We're not helping you because we can't afford to lose the other lanes as well. Like, Dawnbreak yeah. and Luna are also important. Maybe it's an emotional thing, though. You want the guy to, the guy to feel supported, but it's very expensive yeah. to do these moves. It's true. I mean, maybe that's mm. just like the difference between the top tier teams, you know. They, they yeah. realize when it is the correct time to completely sacrifice hero, despite, mm. you know, it being your mid generally the yeah. hero that's there to make all the pace make all the space but just doesn't feel like it's going to be working out right now as uh, oh. mr zog potentially in danger right now but actually there's quite a few heroes here from the side of na 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 three versus three they gonna try and go onto the tusk got... there's no Camille. michael's just getting bullied by the creeps and he's just gonna die as a result and now delsa stuck him with the shards he's gonna get controlled he will die as well it's another two kills going the way of winter bears oh mr zog nearly able to finish off the task and actually the poisons will okay. do the trick so it's a trade there but at the same time mid jesus getting the run around under the tower will be able to survive this time by the way i like what pastel's doing even though he is crushing the lane he still he doesn't go for like the kill abilities the more square the more shockwave what does he do he maxes out the power so he makes sure he gets like every deny every cs and 
So it's like, oh, if I'm not killing you, you're getting nothing. He's more than tripling him in CS. Oh my lord. Yeah, it's, that is scary. Nearly three levels above him as well. Mm, oh, gonna control go. him up. Just gonna right click mm. him down. It's like, there's not even any need for him to really try super hard. Just runs at him and right clicks him to death. And it's just another free kill going the way of this Magnus. And during yeah. the whole time, what have they, they been doing with, uh, I believe it's called Red Dragon, Rather Dragon? Oh dear. Oh. oh wow. Prevail. Okay. Malfurion solo kill, steals the Wisdom Rune as well. He is also level 7, and there is just no TP's gonna come in from the rest of Nana Nana to try and punish this. He just gets away with this scot free, Atomo. This is seriously depressing. Wait, 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 wait. That's a lot of Shadow Poison stacks. It's level 2. Uh, okay, uh, okay the chase out. Wreck him to make space. Probably not going to be able to get any more than six stacks onto it, so... One more stack and that probably would have been enough to kill him. Uh, actually no, because max out at five, an extra stack only gives you 50 damage more. So, uh, yeah, it's like doubles, 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 and, you add, and then you only add 50 after that, which is a weird way of scaling. Yeah. Never mind. Ah, it, was still, it, it, it was another kill on towards the Amber Spirit, and then it was and another so kill on towards the Amber Spirit. Yeah, it just all oh, the cores have fallen apart of the seams. Like I was saying, it's wise Mr. Zog still isn't in a terrible position, but it's, it's just got no space to work with anymore. Just getting constantly ran at now. Yeah, by the way, Mr. Zog is the highest MMR player on this team. So, uh, for people who are like, oh, I'm a more that part, like, yeah, sure. I mean, it's. 13,000 to, you know, 12,000 is not a difference, but at this, this is such a big gap. Oh, yeah. 8,000 8, gold at 8 minutes. I mean, well, what's... Well, this, in your well, expert opinion, you know, because right, it seems right. how you've got, you, you know, 9,000 MMR, or, you know, close to um, there, Tomo. What would your big brain be telling you here for the side of no, no. What should they be doing to recover? It's really hard because you're, you're putting like someone in a very tough situation being like, well, recover on this. It's... I mean, the stacking is good. I really like that. They, they can bring Luna in. Although I don't even know when they can take the stack. If you can jump in with Ember and have Dawnbreaker on top of you, you can get kills like that. But they're so tanky on the other side. So, oh god. Well, yeah, stacks are getting stolen away. We'll see if the Slight can steal many of them. It did actually look like the uh, Mac got a lot. Turns around with the RP. Right clicks do a lot of damage. Dawnbreaker what? is going to be there. It keeps Jesus alive. It looks like Hassan might lose his life. Pastil is just chilling out on the side right now. I think he might have disconnected oh, there, there or something. I don't know. That it, it looked like he just went AFK on the cliff, but either way, no, 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 with a big win. That's huge. That is very nice for them. They, <laughs> yes, they lose some of the stack, but they get the big kills that they needed to. It's very nice for them. Ah, okay, cool. I'm surprised Dumbbreaker walks so close to use the Solar Guardian. I was like, uh, okay. Yeah. This is interesting. Uh, nice, nice oh, I, I, I ju I've just looked at. <laughs> I actually just looked at Jesus' net worth. Wow. Yep. He is, he's below everyone on the side of Winterburst. There was some time when support Ember was considered viable. You know, where you maxed out like the chains and the flame guard. You run in. I uh, don't know if that's what you're looking for in this game, though. Ooh, he's going for Maelstrom. Okay. I mean, it would, it would help him do a bit of damage and farm. Meanwhile, though, the fight continues to come their way as Michael ends up going down. Uh, Maybe they can try and get a trade here on towards the sun again. They want to focus him up, but Malfurion, as well as Poison, just ready and waiting nearby to continue pursuing. Uh, Jesus. It's Jesus uh, jumps to the sides. SF's going to chase after him right now. They need some form of stun and control. Yeah. Pastille actually gets a skewer on towards the door break off to the side, but Jesus still gets caught. The Dawn will live, though, with just a sliver of HP. Oh. Shards Oof. not going to connect there, but it's just another death for this Ember Spirit, pushing it back even what further. That's so tough for the Ember. I mean, we knew that this was going to be an insanely bad matchup for him. And look at that, Vlad's on the shelf. Yeah, thanks, Observer, for pointing it out. Like, we talked about this fast push they want to do, and Vlad's on the shelf gets you that huge amount of extra damage early on. Lifesteal and some aura. You have Chen with the drums, so they're all in on this push, which we knew they would be. Yeah. Look at the I mean, stack also. It, it's the perfect start for it as well, you know. <laughs> you're 11k gold ahead and you're more than ready just to go for the pushes. And Yeah, like you're saying, stealing their... Is this a quad or a penta stack? It's a lot. Uh, it's a lot. It's a big stack. It's a, gi no, no, no. It's a ginormous. 
They're coming in though. Ooh, Blink's oh, giving oh, a nice nice. land there from Pastille. He's taking a lot of damage. Give the Ruby Destruction keeping him alive. Wants to run in to get a decent RP. Lands onto four people. Oh, They're no. all locked down. Requiem as well is going to be there. Getting the fear across. Three people dead. Shards blocking in Jesus as well. There is going to be the Eclipse off to the side. It's Mr. Song trying to do what he can, but it's just not enough there at Tomo. And it's a team wipe that comes their yep. way. And GG's called. 11 minutes, him. 50 seconds in. Cannot blame them at all. By the way, sometimes not even the, like, not just the teams, but the luck is against you. He threw out an Eclipse and he couldn't even get that last bounce on a Tusk. They are, they are just like, Tusk, he should have died. But all the beams go to Shadow Peel and Tusk lives and you're like, what? That's not fair. Uh, very one-sided game. We expected it. We expected Winter Bear is going to run through them and 12 minutes, yeah. a bit faster than I expected. Uh, yes. 11 minutes 57 according to the correct time but that was when the throw you know they mm. pressed gg 11 50 so that's that's the real end of the game coming of jesus is the better one so uh he should have a good time yeah that is true you know let's let's hope he doesn't get sacrificed like the first time round and you know mm. Left to the air uh, to be brutalized but yeah fingers crossed gonna be much much closer here for na 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 we actually see five on five smoke right now mm. Once again, no, 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 heading down to the radiant part of the jungle. We'll see if Winter Bears are going to head over here as well, in which case, might get a little bit of a fight here to start the game off with. It looks like it's just to get wards down there for Winter Bears. Not really too interested to pushing in deep. Yeah, the, the radiant lineup is pretty good level one. Shikuchi on Weaver's kind of like, meh, he throws Shikuchi, is not amazing, but. Well, I mean, he, and he has he can't, like take the swarm now because he already used the steel point. But other than that, the other four are really good fighters early on. Whereas a winter bears, if Morta misses a dead shot, thought, you know the the trinity is pretty shit. Like you want to fight if you're radiant side. That's true. Oh, the fight's already oh, started right now. Hook lands there from Hassan. Michael, though, he's able to walk through the cogs, gets himself away. It's there. Good damage comes on through. Catchful fight should be the first catch. He's trying to run, but look how slow Can everybody they? is. They can't get anywhere. Mr. Zog, he might be the first catch. The final right click is there. He will die. Lots of people getting low as well. Catchful's eventually going to die off right now. Hook will land there from Hassan. Drags back in the clockwork. They kill the Weaver as well. A very chaotic, messy start to oh. the game there, Tomo. And it is four people dying, three going the way Winter Bears. By the way, well, well, I think Hassan is going to be dropping a sentry very soon here. Will he? On the Pudge? Okay. I'm surprised that they're not, they don't know because they were attacking from low ground to high ground, the Radiant side. There's no way they could have done it unless they had the ward there. So they might be something for Winter Bears to know. But again, it's a very nice start for them as they kill the Bristle, but they lose three people. Yeah. It was the first blood as well going into the hands of the Furion as well, which is always a big bonus. So a good start for their carry. They also got a D ward on the high ground at the bottom, which as a result, you know, it's already a solid 1000 gold lead at the very start of the game. I think, you know, Winter Bears are very happy with that. Michael did really good with those cogs, by the way. He got uh, caught, he throws the cogs, immediately catches a few of them. It's like, nice, nice move there. But uh, the follow up wasn't quite as we expected. And just we, like we said, Weaver, Shikuchi level was so garbage in these fights. If he had Swarm, different fight completely. Yeah, I feel like for sure, because no one wants to stand there and take the time to kill the bugs when a fight's going on earlier yep. on, so it's, yeah, maybe it could have made a big, big impact, but, mm. you know, it's, it's the power of hindsight, Tommy. Well, the power of foresight also, I mean, you can, you can see the future and be like, yo, maybe I should save a sleep. Not a bad idea, it's pretty good. Alright, Mr. Big MMR, you know, holding skill points. Oh. People, uh. You know, it's like to have a skill, you know, just, mm -hmm. just pick something. No, it's like, I gotta get it right now, you know, maybe I can use, I can shoot you. Oh, Delsa, he's in trouble. Yeah, he's caught, and he will go down. Looks like, though, Fury might get killed. Oh, good hook actually there from Hassan. Jesus! Drags his teammate to safety. Meanwhile, mid Jesus is diving onto Pastille between the towers. Oh, get Not going to kill the Rubik. Up top, the Rubik does die. Oh, the Rubik, the Weaver, but still Pastille, will he die? He's trying to run to the tower, and he does it. Eventually go down, but at the same time, Mr. Zog also died at the bot lane. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ, people are dying all over the place here, Tomo. By the way, I think they swapped roles on the radiant side because I'm very sure that Delsa was their position four in the previous game, but now he's playing the Mars. So, looks like there's been a bit of a role swap here. Yeah, well, the man, I, I can't actually remember to be honest. I, I feel very certain about it, but we'll see. Looks like 
It's uh, it's not bad. Again, not bad start from Nanana. Reminded that they were like 3,000 gold behind at 4 minutes in the previous game. It's, oh, Nature Papa TP's out. He goes back to base. Just a regen. You know, he, he was extremely low. He didn't have any tangos. So I guess he didn't really have much option. He had to just go for that hard reset right now. Mm. I mean, already he's having a good time. He's 2-0-3 mm -hmm. on the Nature's Profit to start this game off with. Like, he's he's very happy. Doing decently in CS right now. But mm. so far, it is Catchall at the top. Um, obviously, this dynamic in the bot lane might change as Mr. Zolk gets a few more levels into Jingu, and then it's going to be a lot harder for the Bristol to actually lane. But until then, definitely good time. I can't disagree. I think that's one of the it's one of the scariest things about Bristol is that when you're behind him, it's very hard to catch up. And same thing with the Monkey King, who tends to be like a very snowball in the lane hero. Uh, your window for winning this bottom lane for Nana is it feels close to me. You know, it's like that. You can, now you're gonna have to suffer unless Winter Bears makes a mistake. You can't win by yourself. Marvin. Yeah. Probably will have to rely on a rotation from uh, Jesus. Oh, Asan. Let's see. Delsa there, take damage, good spit. Makes the space for himself to uh, get them out of there. Still is gonna try and poke and prob, but the Fury making space for him. Looks like he should be fine. Looks like down to the bot lane though. Mr. Zog actually does get caught out and killed, but at the same time, the perfect hook there from Hassan. Lands on towards Delsa. And it's just two more kills going the way of Winter Bears across the map. And Michael, he's just dead. Perfectly placed dead shot there. Poison nabs that one. It's so easy, right? The sprout into a hook. Unless, even if you try to eat a tango, you have that split second where you have to like do the animation, which is very small, but and then walk yeah. out. It's not easy. Top lane is brutal. And Weaver's kind of a garbage hero against this duo because he's low health and he has no stuns. So, very tough can't against. No? Yeah, yeah, it's just can't help him. It's, it just basically leaves him on slow. This game is actually worse now than the, than the first one. It, I believe it was five minutes in yep. game number one before there was that 3k gold lead. Now it's four minutes and there was the 3k gold lead. So it's. Yes, yeah, somehow gotten even worse, but. In theory, at least another seven minutes before a GG call. Cool. You are, you're terrible, dude. I'm telling you, they're, <laughs> they're going to be doing better than the previous one. I'm, I'm going, I'm going to go as much as 15 minutes this one. Oh Man, dear. I, I've done a lot of copium in the other, in the last game, all right. But this one, even I'm struggling to find copium right now. It's, it's another kill on towards Delsa. This poor old Mars having a really rough time. Zero and three right now. Just can't get anything done. It feels There's too much space being made. Um, the, I was gonna say mid. You know that he was uh, Jesus with eight CS to pastels like four at some point. It was like, all right, the Razor's crushing it, but the recovery is insane. I don't know what he's doing on the Rubik. It's not like he's got items. He's got a bottle. So. How his recovery has happened is a is a mystery to me. He's he's got one death, which was a solo death. What? How? How is he doubling pastels? Sorry, Jesus is CS. I don't know. It's quite interesting to be honest with you, because we're not really paying that much attention to the mid this time round because there's been so much action happening on the other side lanes. It's just we can't just endlessly focus in the mid. But yeah, tremendous start. Looks oh. like the Weaver will be able to steal a uh, haste room, but at the same time, as soon as the Weaver leaves the lane, it's just a Q for Asan as well as Mount Fury and just to apply pressure. Oh, the rebuke doesn't even land onto anything. He's still gonna die. Oh, okay. He lost the tower as well. Oh, gosh. That's brutal. Uh, Weaver's here. He's got a haste room, which is why they're not trying to kill him, but they could get something else for them, and Poison does lose his life. A very nice kill. And again, not as bad as the previous one. Ooh, Weaver. Weaver needs to dodge a hook. Uh, looks like he's not going for it. Oh, he. Nope, nope, I'll go for it. He's fine. Would you have gone for it? Looks like Catchall has been catched. There's a good one. And he is. He's dead. Alright. There's a few kills going the way mm. there on the side of Nanana -na -na, at the same time that Weaver was eventually caught on top. But yeah, Jesus is having a good time at the, uh, at the very least. Sure, he's CS isn't that great, but he is currently 3 oh. 0 1. So he's able to get the work done either way. Uh, Lots of TPs up top, just to secure the Wisdom Rune. It's going to be one for one. Oh, that, that was uh, a lot of problems, actually. Missing that hook allows him to take the Wisdom. Uh, and that was really his fault, because he puts, you know, the, the Iron Tree in the head. Oh, another one. Oh, speaking of another miss hook, yeah. Have to get out the spear, though. It will land. Asan wants to get the deny onto neutrals. It's not going to happen. Just Jesus secures that one himself. Five kill streak as well. It's a lot of money. 
At the same time, though, the Furion was able to pick up the uh, the Weaver. A very aggressive Ooh. teleport falls as well from Akurin by the looks. He gets yeah, another kill. Let's Mr. Zog yeah, ran yeah. underneath the tier 1 tower at the bot. He's trying to survive as best as he can. About to get the Jingus back online, but unfortunately it's not fast enough. T2 will go down. Man, there is this is so much action in this game. It's 20 kills at sub 8 minutes in. Uh, they got oh, it's not done yet. There you go. <laughs> okay, it's, there's a return. And they're always big kill streaks yes. as well. Yeah, like five kill streak against the Pudge, four kill streak against the uh, against the Razor, and then a five against the Fury. And like, what is going on? I wanted to say that too. I was like, every time I'm seeing someone die from Winter Bears, they make a kill streak. You know, every time. Like, but it's nice. Like, they're doing a good job on the Radiant side of containing this aggression and you're up against a lot of it because it's a nature's profit with global and i think rubik wants a boots of travel as well first item so they just want to show up this is actually risky from winter bears boots of travel rubik it's not a whole lot of stats like this could be really punished for them yeah it would be very uh, very fragile oh oh oh, oh. So, oh the hook oh. actually gets blocked there by the weaver but it's gonna cost him his life either way but that probably did just save the life there of Jesus. So, you know, supports do what supports do best. Mm. Throwing their lives down the drain to save their cause. Uh, if only it was worth it. He's, he's actually the most farmed hero on his side, Jesus. So, that's not bad. And Mr. Zog is having a decent time. It's only Delsa on this march. What's he building? This will come in here. Uh, okay. It's going to be phase boots and two soul yeah, rings. Standard out. into the blink, but he's so far away from that. Yeah, he needs a lot more space and time before he can really start becoming a full viable here right now. Actually now been overtaken by Poison the support mm. net worth, which never feels good. Yep. Mr. Zog wants to go for a Diffusal Blade on the Monkey King. I don't like this. I... Oh, oh. Charge forward. We was trying to get himself out. Good. Uh, a little pulse that lands on three heroes. Oh, they still fighting though. Easy connection right now. There's so many decent wards. With the arena plus hook shot, they're going to try and get the kill. The hook actually, la la that looked weird. Yes, it the did. The hook came back and he just teleported. What the hell was that about? Apparently, it doesn't drag him, but it moves him back. Because I was like, the hook was on point. I was like, oh, he missed? That's weird. Must be an animation issue on my side. It looked like it was on. But no, it landed. And there was an animation. Oh, here we go. That is good. All right, here we go. We got it. Oh yeah, no. Cool. Okay, he's able to get the Jingus. Unfortunately, he just can't actually hit people enough to get the life. We'll still get the trade at the very least, but, you know, that is. It's a carry, carry trade. It's not too bad, definitely, not at all. Yeah, the biggest oh, kill you can okay. get. Oh, Another dear. hook from Hassan. Where's your teammate, though? Like, he's doing this all on his own. Finally, Pastille turns up, but he's gonna lose the life of the Pudge. Just the insane amount of damage, though, for the Rook the Stolen Spells. Gets one kill. The Weaver trying to run away. Pastille's going to find him. The Amplified Damage Room is doing tons of work. It's a 3 for 2 trade, and they're going to try and find this plus 1 on towards Delsa. Another pass field slow, but under the safety of the tier 2, he's going to be fine. By the way, in games like this, if it's non stop brawling. Oh, Delsa. Oh, oh, okay. God, yeah, a very aggressive TP comes on in there from Amphurium from behind and secures the kill. Yeah, alright. 30 kills now, 11 minutes in. Nice Switchblade on Nature's Prophets, by the way. Uh, yeah, in games like this where there's a lot of fighting, getting some cheap stat items makes a big difference. You can see, like, Poison, he's got drums, wand, as well as a circlet. And I imagine you want, you know, just pack up those infused raindrops and branches, and you could win some of these. And that's something Winter Bear is doing better. Just you know, cheaper stat items early on, helping a lot. Oh, they're also going to try and find this kill towards Catchall. Several heroes on top of him, but he's a tanky boy now, and it's actually Michael who's going to die instead. Although they're going to continue the fight, Jesus just runs in towards the ghosts. Maybe a little bit of a misstep right now, Ooh. as it looks like Nana Na they're going to be able to throw their they bodies and force them back, but they're just going to continue to push here from Winter Bears. Our nice little Jesus. grab there from Poison. Hook shot lands as well. Or the hook, not the hook shot, sorry. Stolen uh, tree dance as well. As Pastel's trying to chase after the monkey, but he's not going to get him. Instead, it's just three kills. Okay, actually, we'll see the Weaver hook lands. Yes, and him. it's an easy kill. All right, we have surpassed the previous game. All right, all right so that's yeah. that's nice. Um, but I don't know how much longer we're going to go. One nice thing about for now, now this game is that Winter Bay is pushing. Draft is not strong. Yes, you have Nature's Prophet, who's always a god at it, but the other four are pretty lackluster. Yeah, that's true. 
I like what Pastille's got queued up though. He's got the meme hammer, mate. He's he's going. This is how they get their push going. <laughs> oh, okay, Mister Zog, like he's committing to this defusal. Oh, I really, I really don't like this one at all. Hey, what would you prefer, like uh, Battle Fury or Maelstrom? Maelstrom or Echo. Echo, if you if you're fighting, it's good stats. Even though I don't think it's a good one late game. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, They're gonna okay. try and make. This move on towards the sun. Like Mr. Sock actually cancelled his TP for this, by the way. He was about to oh. leave. And now he just dies. Like oh no, it's just so gut-wrenchingly horrible to watch right now as Jesus is attempting to stand his oh, ground. Comes. Delta's actually here, he does manage to get the arena spear on towards the Pudge, but Hassan, he's surviving for now. No one's able to finish off Jesus. So they do at least get that trade. Poison trying to get the kill. Fantastic that shot. Again, it gets the fear on towards the Weaver. They're bringing everybody down. Delsa, he's stuck in this little ring of ghosts, and he's going to join them. It's Whoa. an ultra kill to Malfurion, and it's just a win there for Winter Bears. My God. There was, by the way, there was, they were focused on two different targets. Did you see that? The Pudge was able to get the full dismember off on the Monkey King because Razor was focusing on Malfurion, which makes sense. He want to reduce his damage, but oh, so awkward. And by the way, look at the network. The position five Morta is up ahead of everyone else on the Raven side. Oh, yeah, I, it, you see the size of the calling as well oh, at yeah. that fight? It was huge! Like, <laughs> nearly everybody died inside it, I think. That was mental how big it was. Really cool to watch. And you keep thinking it's going to like move away, but it resets every time someone dies. And it just gets bigger and bigger, and you're like, oh, okay. Nice. Well, Actually, well, oh, what's the, what's the thing I was say about Poison? Okay, he's finally done it. I was like, he still has a tier 1 token just sat in his inventory, not used. But there you go. He gets the Royal Jelly. A nice bit of, uh, of regen, which is good. Pastel does have the meme hammer, as I mentioned earlier, for the push. Did not actually end up going for the Boots of Travel. He still has a queued up. I don't know what's up with him in the Boots of Travel. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe just likes having that in his quick buy. But he's going to go for the Dagon instead, which, as a Rubik, makes a lot more sense. Refusal is finished up. And by the way, look at the Weaver. This is what I'm talking about. Look at his life. He's got 770 health. He wants to get the Spirit Vessel, which is a good item. But you could fill up these stats, you know, these empty slots with like a, you know, a raindrop, a fluffy hat, a couple of branches. It's not much gold. And it could make the difference between life and death. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we saw how quickly he dies pretty much just to poison alone. Just... Like one well placed uh, dead hook. shot and then a ghost, you're dead. Yeah, even a hook, right? Has killed them flat out a few times. So I, I hope I, I know I may sound like I'm harping up about this, but these are how you improve as a player: is that you recognize the state of the game and you adapt to it. One of them is like you are fighting heavy. We have 40 kills in 15 in 15 minutes, and early stats can make a big difference in that. Yeah, huge, huge difference. And unfortunately, it's just yeah, the Winter Bears who's getting the better deal out of this every single time. Let's catch him. He's just going to run into two. He doesn't care the fact that he has no teammates anywhere near him. Oy, he has the Crimson, Crimson Guard, so he's extremely tanky. He's just not really dying here. Now, Fury just teleports straight into the middle of it. Arena gets dropped. And instead, the Monkey King's going to be the first casualty. Control on towards Michael. Hook lands on towards Jesus as well. And catch him. Will we even it die comes. here, Otomo? As the ghosts continue to grow, this ring is massive again. I think everyone died in that once more. Yep. And there it is. GG is called. I was like, the when they got team wipe next to the previous fight, I was like, one more team wipe. That's, well, that's what's going to take. One more. And that's what happened. They get team wipe. They killed nothing. It's very demoralizing. And it is going to be a win for Winter Bears. Never really in doubt about it. We knew. You know, we saw it coming. Uh, but good adjustment by Nan on game.